There we go. Is this down? Okay, I think we're good to go. So we tweak that and reshare. What is this? Oh. Post that here. Type a little bit. <clears throat> and do I have. Okay, I still have my list up. Uh, let's take a quick look at that. Did I not go through all that? Oh no, I didn't. We do still have a few homebrew titles left on the Dreamcast. In this current batch of stuff that I got. Switch this over. Hey Coco, how you doing? Um, where did we leave off? Oh, I didn't clear off stuff. Oh, right, we left off with Volgar the Viking. That one was cool. Okay, so we don't have much left here. Uh, I am running, well, about to be running, homebrew games. Let me put up the command here. So we're on Vorton, a Highway Encounter remake. Oh, yes, and this list of stuff here, um, this is running on... Dreamcast hardware. Uh, however, the disk drive has been replaced with uh, what's known as an optical disk emulator. Basically, it's a replacement board that lets you run software from, well, this is the mode, so it lets you run from SD card, USB drive, or hard drive. Uh, my Dreamcast is a bit modified. It's got that in it. Uh, it's got a Pico PSU power supply. Um, it's got the... What the hell else did I do with it? Uh, it's got a 3D printed shell for the mode. What else did I do to it? Oh, that's right, I put the Noctua fan in it. Yeah, you can just grab any old Dreamcast game and throw it on this thing and it should work. Uh, the, the homebrew stuff, some of it has not been working because a lot of it is only available in certain disk image formats that the mode doesn't support. So I have to like, like, I have to mount those to virtual drive, rip them to a compatible format, and put them back on here. So there's still a ton of homebrew left for me to go through. I just got to convert it over and then is a process. Uh, so, so let me get this. No, oh, that one doesn't work. Is that Vorton? Vorton, Vorton, Vorton. Not compatible. Warlord. Ah, damn. I was hoping that one would work because I think that's the old DOS game. Windjammers should work. Yeah.
honestly really like the GameCube aesthetic. It's just a cube with a handle. It's got a handle on it. Um, I don't know where I'd rank Dreamcast. I'm still fairly new to it. Um, I bought one back in college, you know, after college, and messed with it briefly, but then I wound up selling it. And I never really got into the whole library for it. Um, I rebought one recently and, you know, did all these mods to it. And have been going through. And a friend gave me their Sega Saturn, uh, which I put an ODE in that as well. And I've been going through the library on that system too. I never had Sega anything until the past few years, so it's it's been fun seeing what I missed. Uh, Windjammers. I think I played this once before on something else. I'm not sure if this is like actual homebrew or a port or okay what the hell is this screen oh that's funny the vmu has a sega saturn image on it oh it's loading this <laughs> oh i guess there's something there okay That's weird. I think something's supposed to be on the screen, but it doesn't show up. Mm, yeah, sure. H Mita. I don't know. Oh, the end was the Genesis and the Game Gear. Yeah, Dreamcast really. <sighs> Sega makes great stuff and then doesn't know what to do with it. But uh, the Dreamcast, it was also like kind of a uh, it's a matter of timing. Oh. The original Xbox is sort of a Dreamcast too. Uh. Sega pushed hard for the Xbox to be, like, backwards compatible with Dreamcast. But Microsoft was like, nah. Which is unfortunate, but just look how much Sega stuff wound up on it anyway. SNK, I think, on it. So I don't know if this is like an arcade port. Oh, fuck. It's really hard to time. Uh, Kiss Psycho Circus ruined it all. <laughs> That's funny. I should play that. Yeah, I know a lot of people are like really into this game. 
Like, I even see uh, MVG on YouTube uh, wear a Windjammer shirt in a lot of his videos. Hey, I won. How you doing? What just happened? She just threw it in the air and I lost? Oh, that's weird. Okay, like, what now, Windjammers? There it goes. I feel like there's supposed to be text here. I think this might be like an early version of a port or something. Yeah, because it doesn't show anything there. Playing this game wind jammers. Uh, I don't know. We just learned getting ready for flights. And to Boston visiting Providence. Oh. Say hi to Lovecraft for me. Walk. I don't know what that is, but it sounds interesting. While you're in Boston, you should check out the aquarium. It's massive. <laughs> Witching hour. Oh, I got two discs here? Let me see which... Which witch is which? Dreamcast, Witching Hour, Dummy CD. Wait, what? Oh, okay, they're the same. All right, so it should work with the first one. If not, Shed Aquarium in Chicago. Dancing dolphin training, that's cool. We have a pretty nice little aquarium here in Pittsburgh. It's part of the zoo. Um, they got some neat stuff there. They got penguins. The National Aviary we have also has penguins, I believe. Um, there's a very large Pacific octopus. Yeah, they got some cool stuff there. Alright, so this is Witching Hour. Let's take a job. Mouse. Okay, gamepad. Run as Y. Use as X. 
was a quick turn. Oops. Uh, we'll do easy. I'm gonna have time for a full Aquarian trip. Definitely visit the Contemporary Art Museum. Well, that still sounds good. Oh, this is first person. I'm gonna turn up the volume on my TV because I think there's stuff going on and I can't hear it. Is that English? <laughs> well, the audio is too garbled for me to make out what she's saying, but I can at least look around. discount it just yet. This is probably the art style they were going for. Is that a rock? Can I follow this road to safety? Just the wind. trees growing in the road. What the fuck is that? I can run. No idea where I'm going. Ah! Oh god! Oh no, it's the end of the road. Oh, I can strafe too, okay. Well, uh, maybe I can lose that thing in the trees. Nope, there it is. Oh god, I saw it like that square tree back there. There's another one. Building? Can I hide in here? I can't open the door. Oh fuck, he's on the other side. the edge of the map. the other end of the road. Uh, no, I'm stuck there. Hmm. Just kind of following the edge of the map. here. I wonder if I can make my way back to the bus. Ooh, weird square. Oh, back 
to the road. file again because I'm not sure if the objective if there is one Ew, is that just a hand what is that I'm guessing like the objective is survive is that the bus oh I'm back at the bus oh no oh god it's here ah it got me <laughs> Someone just got murdered. Let's look at that README file again. Uh, this is made by Necronita. Uh, let's see. Let me Google it. Necronita Witching Hour. Oh, this is a Wolfenstein 3D mod. That's cool. <laughs> that explains why the talking is all garbled and I can't understand it. Uh, well, where's like the description here? Articles. Your car broke down in the forest and you have no other choice than to fix it. People you came by are gone missing, so it's up to you to make the car running again. How hard can it be? Oh. Is there something I can do with this? Oh, that's cool. The uh, the VMU, the you know, little memory card thing, it has a compass on it. And as you rotate around, it actually updates. So right now I'm facing north. I'm facing east. That is really cool. I've never seen that before. Oh, so I think maybe one of the things I picked up in the woods was like a car part. And I'm supposed to come back and replace it. Oh yeah, like here's a thing. Oh, I can't pick it up. So I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. can actually do anything with the vehicle. Not sure. Ah. What is that? Oh. You alright? It's just like guts everywhere. Sounds Scottish. Oh. It's making a noise now. Does that mean I'm fixing it? I'm just gonna keep 
Pressing it. Oh. Door opened. Maybe I need to find more parts in the woods. I haven't seen anything that actually looks like a a part of anything but a person. Oh, I think I just picked up something. Uh, there's no notification noise from when you do, so it's kind of like if you don't see it happening, you don't know what's happened. Uh oh. Yeah, okay, so I must have picked up a part then. Nice big open field. Oh, God. oh there's a trying to find my way back to the friggin' bus. No idea where that is now. I suppose that's what the compass is for. <laughs> Instead I'm just wandering around aimlessly. Which will definitely get me eaten. Oh dear. Um... Oh god, it's here. No Mr. Monster thing. Or Ms. Monster, I don't know. Please stay away from me. Here's the bus. Is this like a weapon then? I can't seem able to use this. got me. Oh, no, it didn't. Not quite. There we go. <laughs> Gotta defuse a bomb. Yeah, maybe that's it. This is a weird little mod. I like it, though I don't fully understand it. The compass thing is really cool. It's also really interesting that, that was, that's a mod of Wolfenstein 3D.
And here's the source port of Wolfenstein 2D. I think these are basically the same, but we'll just run one and see how well it works. Profound carnage. <laughs> this is one of the earliest computer games I played. I bought it from the neighbor for 20 bucks. It was on three or four floppy disks. And my computer didn't have a sound card, so I didn't even realize I had voices. It was just little blips and stuff coming through the PC speaker. The game gave you nightmares. I could see that. Get sight. There's no strafing. I always love that pickup sound. I remember spending hours just running along walls, mashing the space bar. Sorry, Dad, playing in our supposedly Christian household, and I cried thinking he was inviting demons into our house. <laughs> oh my god. Well, that's when he played Doom. This game is so hard to navigate. I really never liked tank controls. Oh, I found Hitler's private stash. chicken dinners. Will Twitch be okay with that digital insignia as long as it's a video game? I mean, I would hope so. There's so many games that involve killing Nazis or even playing as them if they're multiplayer. 
maybe not in Germany, but... Oh, I found the exit. In a way, this is more violent than Doom because you're mostly shooting demons. Yeah, I guess that's true. It's actual people, but... I mean, look at it. It's a cartoon. <laughs> that was something that my mom... You know, I got the game, I installed it, I start playing it. She comes in the room, she's like... I think this is a little too vile for you. I was like 12. And I'm like, Mom, I know the difference between fiction and reality. <laughs> and she just like... Oh. And she left the room and I just kept playing. Fun fact, Ant Number is cute. How dare. Hey Jag Dogger, how you doing? There was a secret exit in that room? Which room? This one back here? Or in the exit room. E10 oh, okay. I haven't played this game in twenty years. I certainly never memorized where all the secrets were. I remember reading one level has a secret that's basically just a giant maze and it's like impossible to navigate if you don't like draw it out or something and if you manage to navigate it you get to a room that would like present you with a phone number to call for like a contest And I think someone did figure it out and tried to do the contest and they wouldn't redeem it or something. I don't remember. Like several years ago I read that. But... Pac-Manish? Aardvark? How dare. I am not an Aardvark. going. This is the Simpsons single homer version. <laughs> Richard and Large. How you doing? Alright, Coco. You have fun with that. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, yep. There's another dog over there. Okay, so I think I am supposed to go the other way. So the name was Aardvark. Oh, yes! Okay, I know what you're talking- yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'll have to look, look that up again. So I think there was something weird about it. Like, I remember from the article, like... Like, it couldn't be completed because of a bug, or, like, the person who called it in, they wouldn't redeem it for some reason, or... I really don't remember the details. That was Ard Wolf. sound familiar either way, so. But I think there was like a cheat code you could use to display the whole map, which made it easier. thinking about <clears throat> like completely playing through it again so I did end up beating it you know, I fought Mecha Hitler and everything but uh, I don't know I felt like quite a chore so much of the game is just like repeated and stuff
Check the telegram as it's E2L8. Okay, well, I'm not gonna play all the way to that. I'm just testing this out, see how the source port performs. But I'll take a look. Operation Eisenfaust. Oh, it is our dwarf, okay. A maze of secret push walls, mostly to dead ends or inaccessible treasure items. Inside the maze are also two Hans Grosses. In some versions of Wolfenstein 3D, the sign is not there, as cheat sites allowed players to find the maze and the sign with minimal effort, putting a stop to a contest its software were holding. If players have the 1992 release, the sign is seen. If from late 92 to later, it's replaced by a pile of skeletons next to an accessible one-up. Huh. Yeah, that maze looks hideous. <laughs> I want nothing to do with that. Do they have any info on the contest itself? Call Apogee, say Ardwolf. Mm. <laughs> oh, the sign was to be the goal in a contest Apogee was going to have, but almost immediately after the game's release, a large amount of cheat and mapping programs were released. With these programs running around, I felt that it would have been unfair to have the contest and award a prize. The sign was still left in the game, but in hindsight, probably should have been taken out. To this day, Apogee gets letters and phone calls and asking what Ardwolf is, frequently with the question, has anyone seen this yet? Let's see. Oh, so I guess they ended the contest before anyone could even redeem it. Uh, I suppose that's for the best. Not that Arnwolf. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Oh, but it contains scenes of graphic horror. Awesome. Whispered Secrets, okay. Let me update the folder so I have the right name. Oh, okay. Anna wakes up from a dream still half asleep. Unlike every other morning, there is no sound coming from downstairs from her parents. Go back to sleep. Nothing wrong. Not wanting to get up, you say to yourself, it's nothing. So you turn around and feel a sharp pain in your back. You feel like warm water flowing down your legs. Opening your eyes, you see it's your own blood. You're dying. <laughs> oh, wait. It's your own blood. You're dying. <laughs> This is real, use your gift to turn back time and go downstairs. Try to wake up, this has to be a nightmare. I'm just gonna keep picking the bad, the bad options. Door dead. <laughs> the parents lay in their own blood. They picked the right there and spelled it wrong. I'm not sure how to feel about that. A book named Whispered Secrets laying on the table. Okay, let's do this for real. Flash games aren't dead after all. Okay, go.
go downstairs. What you see is horrifying. Blood leaping at your feet, two bodies face down in what looks like a sea of blood that once was your kitchen. You hear footsteps, what will you do? Grab the knife from the counter, hide and watch who comes with nothing to protect you at all. Let's do that one. Now hiding, you wait, racked with fear, heavy footsteps approach. From where you hi you're hiding, you see a man with a mask. He picks up the knife and stares at where you're hiding. Seeing the blood steps you left behind, you know you're going to die. <laughs> Try to run away. What the f- I'm not reading all this. Let me skim it. <laughs> You thought he spotted you, but he turns back and walks into the next room. Uh, what, will he, what will I do? He's to hide in this room when you were younger. You see some old boxes. A bunch of papers. The papers are for your adoption. That's the real horror. <laughs> The bottom of the box under a sheet is an old gun. Wow, a gun! You've never touched a gun before. Anger wells up inside you as your whole life crumbles. Everyone lied to you. There are guns in the house. You're adopted. Okay. You decide to face your attacker head on. Sure, let's try shooting him. Watch it turn out to be like my dad or something. Oh! <laughs> oh, it was a cop and I just killed him and then the police killed me. That's... Okay. Let's try this again. <laughs> oh, we're getting a divorce and you're adopted. Stairs. Grab the knife. Blood dripping off, running down your arm. As soon as he steps through the door, he thrusts the knife in his chest. As he falls, a badge flashes in your eyes. It says police, you have killed your only hope. Come on, you're next. Is <laughs> here last piercing? Put down the knife. They know I killed the cop. They're not getting me alive. It's not a car or person in sight. The sound of the police was so real. You see a tape recorder in the bushes. Try to open the window. <clears throat> Straight into the hands of the killer. Pretending to faint, you go limp in the killer's arms. Now let's scream. Maybe he hates screaming. Oh, it was all a dream. You notice your mother has papers in her hand. Oh no. It was just a nightmare. By the way, you're adopted. <laughs> Alright, we'll do one more run through. Let's see if we can get something different going. Go downstairs. Grab the knife. Try to get to the phone in the hallway. the phone still works. You call the police but you're put on hold. Uh, run and hide. Oh. Uh, is this still a dream? You're dead. Oh. <laughs> hey, Delon. How's it going? Did you enjoy this? I enjoyed this. It was terrible, and I loved it. <laughs> the 
The real secrets were the friends we whispered along the way. Okay, these two I think are open bore, but we'll see. I'm gonna play Psylocke. Magneto has begun his war on humanity once more. I like all their poses. Take the X Jet and stop him, my X Men. I think it's loading. Um, oh, there it goes. <laughs> no, it was, it was loading. It was loading to start loading. Oh, oops, sorry. Let me turn this down a little bit. I was gonna shut down stream. The end. Deadpool and Havoc. Jesus, Havoc could just like annihilate me. Grabby. Yeah, okay, that's definitely not her name. but he's blue, so I'll make a blue. Just about all of these characters I'm fighting are at least as powerful as Psylocke, if not more. <laughs> Didn't Silver Samurai train her too? I don't remember the lore. Oh, and Havoc could kill just about anyone I've encountered. He's like a top tier mutant. Deadpool literally can't die, except when he does, and then death is just like, alright, I'm sending him back. Okay, this... whatever her name is, I don't think she's actually that powerful, so... She was working with... What was his name? The, the TV planet guy. Mondo? Oh my god. Ugh. 
they killed me. Yeah, yeah, these, that's a pretty common thing with these Beats of Rage mods. Is, there's a lot of minimal effort going into it. They usually play fine, but I think that speaks more to the strength of the engine than it does to the skills of the modder. Smacker. I thought there'd be a boss fight at least, but nope. It's probably just going to be another few levels of endless beating up. It's loading. See? <laughs> In lane? <laughs> Why is Deadpool named the lane? <laughs> With Jimmy. Ah yes, the most fearsome mutant, Jimmy. That guy's Hubchen? What the fuck is that name? Oh, watch out, it's Jimmy. He's got a sword. straight to the end of the level. Oh, unless it's like endlessly looping or something. Oh, no, nope, here we go. Ah. Who even is Polaris? I don't remember her. Like, how she fits into things. I know Havoc's deal is manipulating gravity. He's like, is it Havoc that's Professor Xavier's son? Uh, 
that's enough of that. Beats of Rage, I think. Yep, definitely. Genosha Crisis. Okay. Crisis at Genosha. I think that was, Genosha was the mutant sanctuary Magneto created. Ooh, cake. Now why is Ryu here? She's named Elaine. Okay. He's just called Metal. Sabretooth is named Matches for some reason. Upchin. Wait a minute. Upchin? Frying? What? Barbecue? What are these names? No, I'm dead. <laughs> I wonder if there's someone else I could play. them. <laughs> Let's play Zangief. That'll be interesting. God, they're so slow. <laughs> He's fighting him. It's metal, dude. Doesn't that hurt? He didn't... He squatted down and the apple disappeared. He definitely didn't use his hands to pick it up. <laughs> You're off screen. I can't fight you. Actually, have a red Omega Red now. Ugh. Oh, 
Did Sabretooth get bigger? Wait, his name was weird. Oh no, it's here. Oh, it was just that graphics. Nom nom, Sabretooth. Stop juggling me! I can't get near him to fucking hit him. There we go. Ugh. I got tentacles to death. I like how his fall turns into a grab. Fuckers, leave me alone. Trying to walk down this impossibly long pier. I keep getting harassed. Or am I on a boat? I think I'm on a boat. It's the longest boat in the world. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> Why does he do that? Whoa, I have no idea how I accomplished that. Yay. God, these mods suck. <laughs> One more uh, in the regular batch, and then I have a couple more Half Life ones I can look at. I might have shown this one off before, but we'll do it again. Because I don't remember what it is. Guru. They've made interesting stuff. Zump the fine. Oh, okay. Zump is, I believe, a DOS game? This has been ported? Maybe not. I don't remember. Oh, okay. Admirable. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oops. Dang. Done. Well done. <laughs> ah. Oops. <laughs> Meh. What? <laughs> Shit.
Oops, why did I do that? Okay, so... It's only when you leave it that it... Oh, fuck. I just keep making dumb mistakes, because I, you know, I really don't like the D-pad on the Dreamcast controller. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, like, the D-pad just feels mushy. Oh no. Well. Oh. <laughs> huh. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Dang. I have no idea how to accomplish this. <laughs> uh... Oh, it does go away while you're just standing on it. Okay. I, I have no idea. I'm not good at games like this. No. Dang. Hit me. Black screen. Alright. Good homebrew. I'm just bad at it. I think that was one that might have had a uh, physical release. Alright, what do we got here? Some of these I tried and <clears throat> they weren't working right at the time. I'm gonna give them another shot. So these are all uh, mods of the Dreamcast port of Half-Life. Loading, loading, loading. Yeah, originally, um, Half-Life was being ported to Dreamcast. It was like, like 92% done. Actually, no, I think it hit gold. So it was like ready to be released. And it got canceled in the zero hour because like the Dreamcast itself was canceled. Uh, but Blue Shift, the expansion was originally exclusive to the Dreamcast port. Um, and also the high definition model pack was exclusive to the Dreamcast port. And that all got ported over to PC. Okay, I guess this one doesn't work. I thought it worked before. But anyway, the, the Dreamcast port wound up becoming the PS2 port 
Um, though I don't think it came with. I have it on the shelf here. I don't think it came with blue shift. No, it's just Half-Life on PS2. However, uh, it does come with, uh, what's it called, Decay? Yeah, Half-Life Decay, which is a co-op mode where you play as I forget their names. These two women scientists that were also at Black Mesa during the incident. Um, and it's, it's a really good co-op. Uh, and then if you beat that, there's an additional bonus chapter where you can play as a Vortigaunt. Um, and also, PlayStation Magazine, on one of their demo discs, there's a secret uh, Half-Life uplink which was a demo for Half-Life originally on the computer uh, that got ported to PS2 and was included on that disc so if you pop in Half-Life and you go to the code screen and you run a certain code it'll ask you to swap the disc you put in the PlayStation magazine and then you can play Half-Life Uplink so that's pretty cool and I do have a copy of that disc it was very hard to track down. I actually had to track it down twice because I got it before and I wound up selling my PS2 collection back in the day and that went with it. But then I managed to track it down again, thankfully. All right. Uh, one. I tried this one before and I think it crashed a bunch. What's going on tonight? Nothing but black screens. Usually these work fine. Or they did last time I tried them. Could just be like taking you a very long time to load and they don't have an actual loading screen for it. Yes, no, maybe. Oh, come on. What is going on with this thing? Maybe I need the <clears throat> keyboard and mouse hooked up. I really don't want to dig all that out. <laughs> Shouldn't need that though, because like Half Life can run with just the controller. It definitely runs better with keyboard and mouse, but. <clears throat> okay, well, let's just jump to this one. Someone ported Opposing Force, and I think it mostly works. The thing with modding Half-Life on the Dreamcast is you can't really use mods that do a lot of engine changes, because that would require having access to, like, the engine source code, and 
nobody had that for Half-Life, and they certainly didn't have it for the Dreamcast port. Wow, these are just not cooperating tonight. Uh, what did I do with my Dreamcast mouse? Let me go hook those up. Here's the keyboard. the mouse. Hopefully I won't actually have to use these, but maybe it's being finicky because it's expecting them and not finding them. And... Sorry for all the noise I'm making. Yes, the interesting stuff that's not working. <laughs> okay, we'll try this one again. You know, it could also be, I think, uh, no, actually, I'd, I'm thinking, I can't remember if it, the mode creates a file in each directory where it runs a game. That might be the satiator I'm thinking of. But maybe that file is caching something that's not working right. Just give this a minute, and we'll see if it comes up with anything. Because I know I, they tend to take a while to load, but I don't remember it taking this long. Start hitting buttons, right? Escape and enter. So this one is Counter-Strike, but it's not actually Counter-Strike, because you can't have a like, multiplayer. I mean, you, I guess you could have had multiplayer if this had really taken off. They could have done a, an actual port. Now that would have been cool. But no, this is like a single-player take on Counter-Strike. I don't, now that I think about it, I don't think Half-Life on Dreamcast had internet support for multiplayer. I think it was just split-screen. I know the PS2 version is just split-screen, it's only two players. Um, I mean, there are plenty of games with multiplayer on Dreamcast, so some of the big selling points. So, like... Unreal Tournament and Quake 3, you could play those online. So conceivably, Half-Life could have done it too. <sighs> okay, I don't think this is gonna work. I don't understand why it did work before. I did a whole stream of just nothing but Half-Life mods. Oh, do I get my chair back now? Thank you, Tiffa. Cats. Man, this bums me out. I'll try.
try another one. I'll try one that I haven't run before. That I can recall. Um, I'm pretty sure I did not run grunts. Oh, lovely. It was by those people. Every community has its bad apples, right? Unfortunately, the homebrew scene is no exception. It doesn't look like this is going to work either. What the fuck? Now I'm wondering if just regular old Half-Life will work. These had no problems before. I don't know what would have changed. Okay, well, that means I'm out of homebrew for tonight. Um, there is all that stuff that wasn't working because it was the wrong format that I'll have to convert if possible. So that'll have to be for next stream. But let's see if regular. Oh, do I have anything in here? Oh, I have prototypes. I haven't gone through these. So this is, um, there was going to be a Castlevania on the Dreamcast called Resurrection. And all anybody really got to play of it was an E3 demo. Um, which was lost for many, many years. And recently resurfaced and I grabbed it so let's check that out and hopefully that will run Okay, so you can change camera controls. Jump, attack. Y seems to be like a quick button thing. Get away from me. Crouch. That's cool. Ow. Who's throwing bones at me? That's not cool. Hey, goddamn wizard. Hey, I killed him.
Oh, so she uses a sword if an enemy is particularly close. Oh, stop. You're zapping. pretty well so far. Prototypes. Um, I don't have particularly large collections of yet. So if I come across a few more, then I'll probably do that. And I'll just go through this one again. Did you fucking die? Thank you. Oh, this man's so gonna get it. I got something. Yeah, I have like a, a prototype of Crazy Taxi from an early build. Um, I have prototypes of Agartha, which was a uh, cancelled. Did you turn? Thank you. I am probably not playing this how it's meant to be played. Controls feel a little clunky, like you do this, and there's like a significant like half second delay. Ghosts. I just want to see the rest of the level. Of course, there was no heart in that candle. Oh, I died. And now it's. Oh, interesting. Does. 
seem to have knives now. I can see why this was cancelled. It wasn't very good. See what's going on. Oh, oh, jump. Oh, almost. Oh. Almost get out of here. is one of these guys here. Oops. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's okay. The floor is lava, but it's still just a floor. How about that? Oh, there's so many fucking ghosts. Go away. Have a good night, Ezen. Have a good flight. Enjoy your time in uh, Boston, etc. Keyboard connected. I wonder if there are any like debug commands I could have brought up somehow. game. It's just gonna be an actual official game. We're just gonna 
Let's see if Half Life itself will work. Even Half Life is working. Maybe I just underestimating how long I have to actually sit here and wait for it to load. I don't remember it taking that long. I remember messing around with the mode settings a little bit, but I can't imagine. I had done anything that would have affected it. Um, I think I did some kind of like fast boot time thing, but that's for the console itself. Half Life is one of those games that runs off, uh, what was it, Windows CE? Yeah. Um, so maybe it's an issue with that. Maybe I did something that messes with Windows CE. I'm not sure it did, but it used to work. And right now it's running off the hard drive, so if it's still having problems, then that rules out the SD card being an issue. around in the files, see if maybe there is some kind of cache file that's breaking things. Maybe I'll ask on the mode forums or whatever. Yeah, it should have come up by now. I'm fairly confident of that. Maybe it's a save file issue. My VMU is like full. So maybe it's like trying to do something with that and I can't, but there should be a half life save on here. Uh, let's see. Uh, options. Auto region patch. That shouldn't. Fast boot is off, so. Seek time, read speed. I don't know. Oh, you know what? Version am I on? I updated this. Maybe that's why it doesn't work anymore. I updated the firmware. Fuck, okay, I'm gonna have to look into that. That's probably why it doesn't work anymore. Um, okay, then. What do we have in here? Let's see if we can go up here. off to two hours for a solid stream. How can a stream be solid when it implies it's liquid? Tell me this isn't gonna work now. What 
the fuck? Oh, it's got bus. Yeah, it's got bus from far in the BMU. The info light is blinking on it. What does that mean? Maybe it's a corrupt VMU. Oh, there it goes. Finally. Weird. <laughs> well, I, I don't seem to have broken anything. It's just extremely slow. The screen's black. No, it's, it's fine now. It, it was taking a long time to load for some reason. My partner just came in here. Is it good? Okay. And now it's stuck on now loading. Wow, it's... Why is it so slow? Or is it just frozen? This game is like, I don't know, like 40 megabytes? Like, it should not be doing this. And I can't blame a homebrew program filling up memory or something because I shut the console off between each game, which should clear the memory. If I can get into the memory card manager and delete some stuff, maybe that's, there's something in there causing an issue. Oh, what? Why was that blue and why is that green? That's weird. Oh, I hope my console isn't dying. This is so we can delete that. Um, select files and press select. Oh, okay. Oh, I cannot select. Oh, that's weird. Circus. Oh, okay. That was one of the homebrew games I played. Alright, so what do we got? We have Bus Move 4, Quake 3 Arena, Res, Soul Calibur, Typing of the Dead, Virtual On, Ikaruga, Mr. DC. We can delete that. Doom. We can probably delete that. Drama. Oh, that fucking game. <laughs> Half-Life. Let's delete that anyway. Oh, Unreal 
tournaments. VMU tool. Oh, yeah. Okay, I gotta keep that. Worms Armageddon and Xenocrisis. God, look how much space these take up. Jeez. Alright. There, now it's back to blue. Much better. So I guess there was something on the memory card that was causing an issue. that noise. Why are you doing that? Okay, that's... It's going through each song. Instead of playing, like, the song it's supposed to be playing. Oops. Shit. Also, my guy shouldn't be looking happy right now. He should be sad because the bubbles are so close to the bottom. What is going on? is like a firmware update somehow or there's some kind of memory issue It's not my Dreamcast dying. I do have another one I can use. And I 
could just swap with the word, because I'm using the Sega Sports Edition model, which is the black one. Um, and the other one is the regular gray. Still having weird. Yeah. What the fuck? Oh, well, I changed that setting to read speed normal. Maybe that's causing an issue as well. interference or something? Maybe there's something wrong with the Pico PSU inside it? Uh, well that was off. This is on maximum again. Oh, so none of this was actually... Boot reset to menu. Yeah. Boot to menu. Um, let's try running that again, see if it still has the same issues. <laughs> and then we'll try Half-Life. Notch. Uh, they were going okay, but now I seem to be having some kind of issue with the loading and stuff. Yeah, it's still doing it. <clears throat> yeah, okay, it's still having problems. Alright, let's try Half-Life. Let's see if that even loads now. I might have to, like, if it's the VMU, I'm not sure how I'd fix that. I'd have to, like, wipe it or something. I don't know if I can even do that. Of course, I could try playing without a VMU in it. Yeah, so something on the VMU was causing problems before. God knows what. What's the storage medium for these homebrew games on a Dreamcast? Adding storage or using the memory cards as an interface? Uh, the 
if the homebrew does any kind of saving, it will do it to the VMU, which is that memory card device with the screen and the buttons on it. Um, but it being homebrew, it may not do it properly. So, oops. Are the games loaded? Is it using a CD? Or? No, it's, uh, it's. I have the mode in it, the optical drive emulator. Um, so it, it uh, right. What I was doing these homebrew games, I was loading them off um, the SD card. Um, but right now, this is loaded off the hard drive. Seems to be running fine. The first move we will practice is good work. Those instances can be tricky. Please proceed to the next area. You will now duck under the next set of options. Very good. I hardly noticed you. Oh, that's cool. To do crouch jumping, you just hold jump. Oh, I like that. So much easier than trying to do an actual crouch jump. into the ladder. Look up and continue moving forward. The next three jumps get harder each time. If Oops. you keep falling short, you might be jumping too soon. Great work. Now there's one more style of jumping. Long jumping requires its own charging module. Our message. To activate your long jump. Nice job. Oh wait, should I not be up here? Yeah, this seems to be working fine. I'm not noticing any audio issues, but I don't know, you guys tell me if you hear any weird weird audio stuff going on. Is this spaghetti? Okay. Bridge. 
Controlling this on a Dreamcast is so weird. your suit flashlight for the next area. Power twenty percent. Power forty percent. Power sixty percent. Remember your flashlight drains power, so switch it off when you don't need it. All right, I want to try this. Turn it off, let's remove, rumble. VMU. Turn on. Oops, not Half-Life. Shit. I meant to do... Bust a move. <laughs> what? Well, my kitty has the zoomies. Okay, right. Uh, bust a move four. up a little bit. No, it still has problems. Weird. Okay, 
So now I wonder, because I also have it on the SD card, I wonder how it will perform on there. Egg. Hey, Patrolux. Um, right. Go here, here, here. problems. It's got to be the firmware then. Well, it's not doing the weird buzzing. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, that's weird. Huh. Okay, well, I guess I'll have to complain to somebody about that. It used to work perfectly fine. Very strange. Alright, well, I'm actually going to call it there. Um, let's see. Well, i got a few of you with me. Let's see who I can raid. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear my cat. She's very annoyed that I'm not playing with her right now. Um, yeah, thanks, man. Hopefully it's not anything too serious. Uh, I'm just going to grab someone at random here, and I guess... Oh, okay, someone's playing Deathloop. We're going to raid them, because I'm curious about that. Uh, how do you spell their thing? Okay. Cool. Thank you guys for joining me. Uh, it's always good to have you here. Um, yes, no signal. It's actually my favorite game. I play it a lot. Uh, so let's see. Tomorrow, I don't know if I'll be doing anything. I probably will. I'm like kind of hooked on Stalker at the moment, and I want to get back to it. Um, Thursday is Homefront, and Friday, I don't know. Saturday, Sega Saturday, but uh, we'll see what happens. So anyway, yeah, have a good night, and uh, hopefully enjoy the next stream.